guys, PressureWashHelp.com, king of pressure wash. And tonight I have a special guest on. And this Wait a minute, special, we're live? Yeah, we're live. We are Hold live. On. We, oh, we you didn't say go. We don't mess around. We just do this thing, man. We go live and we just make it happen. And that way it just makes your jitters and your bugs go even more up. There. But I have a special guest on tonight. And um, he's been a great guy. I've known him probably for about a year and a half, now, year, year and a half. And um, he is going to tell a story. Now, the problem we have is is he's actually from Canada, and he doesn't oui, speak English. Oui, so I don't know oui. how this is going to go. Oui, but... Monsieur Jason, oui. Très bien. <laughs> we, we don't know how this is going to go, but oui, oui. I'm just kidding on that because we're going to have fun tonight. So this weekend, um, it was busy for me. My daughter had a game yesterday. They won yesterday. They had a game today. They won today, and they won. had another game today, and they won that game which was like that team is ranked number 10 in the country, um, and she beat them. And so that was pretty awesome go. on a shootout at that, too. So that was super-duper awesome. Um, we got Tristan in here, Tristan in here, young pressure washer out of Texas. He's always on our Sunday night lives and our Monday night marketing, same way with the guy that I have over here. We got uh, Ray in the house. We got Truth Seeker. I haven't seen you around in a little bit. Um, they haven't officially said this, but Christmas lights will be $2,200. <laughs> hey, fellas. Hey, Jason, can't wait to get on our lives. He got his Christmas light out. <laughs> um, that is true. Can't wait to see Caleb. And that's going to be really cool is Caleb's going to be on our live on Thursday. He's a young entrepreneur trying to get going and so that will be a lot of cool things and so this isn't even about christmas lights but manny's trying to make it about christmas lights but that's all right so <laughs> so like i said um this is definitely Message gonna be this is gonna be this is going to be a fun live um with manny manny's a lot of fun that's why i love having manny on and so, like I say, Manny joined my group about a year, year and a half ago, and he has been doing awesome, and he's going to do awesome. And so, with that, Manny, just tell me a little bit about who are you, and where is this crazy Canadian from? Wow. Do I start pre-COVID or post-COVID? Wherever you want to start at. Okay. Uh, damn, I can go on for a long time, so let's try and talk quick. There's so many people here. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, first off, I want to say I started listening to you uh, COVID, uh, you know, October, probably October or November of 2021. Uh, I have a friend in Minnesota, barbecue friend. We'll talk about the barbecue after. So uh, he's in the um, restoration business after, after Sinister. And uh, I say, hey, how do I get into this after Sinister business? There's a lot of money in that. You know, you go to a place, you vacuum up some water, you put some... Uh, some fans there, some dehumidifiers, you walk away and you're just collecting money because the insurance companies are just giving. And he says, you know, it's kind of hard. He says, but hey, you should check out the uh, soft washing. What? He says, soft washing, go on YouTube. So that's when I started listening to you. And uh, so let's, let's rewind a little bit now. Um, I've been in the cleaning business all my life. My father has uh, still has a... a uh, janitorial uh, business, um, commercial janitorial. Uh, we've done from uh, cleaning uh, uh, commercial buildings, offices, uh, uh, lots of windows, uh, literally removing windows, cleaning both sides, uh, parking garages, uh, even some homes, uh, after, mostly after construction, after renovation homes. So uh, I was in it for a long time and um, I just wasn't motivated. Um, I grew up. I grew up okay. We always had food on our table. It wasn't an issue. And uh, I think the big thing was that I was doing okay. I never had to struggle. And I came to a point in my life uh, after separation, divorce. It was just I wasn't happy. And I, after I separated, I went on a barbecue streak. Uh, I started competing in barbecue. For those of you who are from the barbecue world, the Kansas City Barbecue Society is huge. Uh, 
I, I've competed in all of uh, New England, New York, uh, Massachusetts, Maine, uh, all, this, all, the, all the states, uh, Pennsylvania, um, New York, and uh, even Alabama. I, I, I attended the World Food Championships in Alabama. Did you at uh, least go to Kansas and for the Kansas City uh, Barbecue Club? Um, I went in 2018 at uh, the Kansas City Barbecue Society banquet. It is uh, one one of uh, one one barbecue friend in Ottawa, Canada. Um, he was first place in 2018 in Canada, so I went with him just to hang out. It was just awesome. Kansas City was great. Um, so where were we? Yeah, that was barbecue. We even hosted events here in Montreal, uh, and 2020 just you know changed everything. Um, I was in the process of getting my green card in 2019. Uh, I was just fed up of being here. I wanted to do something else. My brother-in-law's in the South Jersey. He's got the restaurants. And I was going to become a restauranter. Yeah. Um, so COVID hits and he says, you know what? We got to stop the process. So no green card ain't happening. So that's when I fell into this pressure washing mumbo jumbo who is this jason walk uh, jason guyman bobby walker uh so um i stumbled into um a guy called eric from uh, lake george new york uh Sh lake george shingleshine he drove from uh lake george which is near the border he drove to alabama and he bought a southeast soft wash skid uh Come November, I placed my order, and January of 2021, I'm doing my training at Roanoke, Alabama, um, with Cody and um, his team there. And that's it. Uh, but first thing I did, like Jason says all the time, I don't even have the mailer here. Uh, I signed up uh, in, let me see here. I signed up in, uh, in my neighborhood, well, my in, I'm in Montreal, by the way, uh, second largest Canadian city. Uh, so I'm just in the sub, just north of Montreal. And uh, I had to do advertising. So I got involved with this guy that does, uh, it's a little booklet. This is not the one, but it's a little booklet about this size. It's got about maybe 40 companies in it. And I put $2,000 in that in March of 2021. Uh, website was just about to get on, so I started without the website, and that's how the start the, the business started. And then I went to the huge convention, <laughs> and um, we talk about uh, why you talk. Why are you letting me talk? Why aren't you talking? Why aren't you? Uh... <laughs> no, because I love you talking. Because you know we uh, we'll we'll get going here before long of me poking and stuff and i've always kind of poked at manny just cuz i like poking at manny but i i don't remember even being at the huge i'm sure you i just see a lot of people at the huge but the one time that i do remember seeing you come was at the um was at um responsicon right okay so let's let me can we have wine on the channel sure so um you're an adult yeah so um let, now I'm, I'm i'm back on the roll um so we got involved in that we started uh, chugging along and of course yard signs right message where to find us and i mean i know it's a little bit big the website but the message is there lavage à pression pressure washing in french is three words everything in french is long everything so uh yard signs yard signs uh five arounds uh the, the mailers i didn't have google ads yet i just didn't know google ads i was afraid I, I figured let me start with that and i realized that that's how you do it and i kept listening to your channel blah, blah, blah. and then i signed up with your uh your program last september damn it's, i think mine is expiring i have to pay you again <laughs> good <laughs> yeah so um yeah the advertising and um but let, let's start off one thing. Are you like 21 or 25? How old are you? We're exactly six years apart. So oh, he's... And, and 
When I say exactly, I mean exactly to the date. You're 42, right? Yep. Okay, so we're exactly six years apart. And I say exactly, meaning we have the same birthday. Really? So I did not know that. Yes, we do. So so you're old is what I'm getting at. Is You're 48 years old and you're starting a new business, right? And, and this is sometimes that I see a lot of people of, I'm too young, I'm too old, I can't do it. I, I'm, I don't know how to do this stuff. Um, I, you know, and it's all the mindset stuff that can turn us into why we can't start a pressure washing business, right? And so these are some things that I see a lot of people struggle with. You know, it's, I'm too old, I can't get business. I'm too young, I, I I can't get business. I'm, I'm too whatever. And this is one of the biggest things that, um, I, I, I try to help people get over, right? That's something that it is definitely something that we have to overcome. And so with that, what, how have you, what was the, did you have anybody say, Manny, what are you talking about? You're going to start a new business at 46 years old or 47 years old. Let, let me say this. Uh, of course, my, my, my old man said, why are you going to start a business? We have a business. Why don't you grow this business? You know, I'm like, I'm done with this. I just, I want to move on. Uh, family, the brother, the bro- you know, the brother, everybody's got a brother-in-law, right? <laughs> so um, most people didn't understand why I was doing this. I mean, we all have a reason why, right? We got to have a why. If we don't have a why, then uh, uh, it's kind of difficult to move on. But uh, if you're going to keep listening to the people around you, uh, the negatives, they will get in there. So what I did last year, um, I use ear pods, right? I love my ear pods. I take these and I put them in, in there, in the ear. <laughs> and I'm just listening, 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 listening. Uh, I remember last year doing a window job at uh, one of the customers, uh, washing windows. I had my ear pods on and I was listening to, um, now I'm getting a blank, uh, the swimming pool company. Uh, ah, uh, they ask you answer. They ask you answer. Amazing book. Now, did you read books before you started listening to me and doing that stuff? Okay, let's rewind 20 some odd years. I got involved in Amway. Remember Amway? Oh, yeah. So, so they had a sales system, uh, and their sales system was super. They had cassettes, cassettes, what? <laughs> Cassette tapes, um, books. We read books. I read The Magic of Thinking Big at 21. I read uh, Dale Carnegie's uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. But you know what? I was 21. I'm not saying that young guys can't do it, but... You're not there. I wasn't. I wasn't ready to move on. I was a young kid. Um, come now, I'm no longer young. This is why I have uh, Company Cam, uh, Responsibid. Uh, I'm starting email marketing now. I spent money on systems last year because I knew I was solo. Um, I knew I could not do it if I did not have help. Yeah, it costs money. But, uh, guys, the moment I tuned in and I set up Responsibid, wow. Let's hit on that. And if you all have any questions, ask away, and that way I'll get them. Oh, I want to see if any, 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 any Canadians are here. How yeah, many is there Canadian- any Canadian, Canadian A's um, around eight. here? You know, and that, this is one thing I want to hit on. You know, this wasn't something easy for Manny, right? He came to ResponsaCon this year, and he started doing ResponsaBid. And here's the thing about ResponsaBid. It's great if you're American. They got it all lined out for you, and it's real simple, and it's uh, they'll do it all for you and all of that kind of stuff. But here's the thing about um, ResponsaBid when you're in Canada, and you're at an area that half of it's French or even three half. Quarters. Three eighty percent of my customers are French. So now he said at ResponsaCon, and that's the cool thing about ResponsaCon. It's not just about um, go and listen, but actually go and do a workshop. And he sat and went back in his room and started changing all the wording to French, so that way it can work for French also. Can I can I say something about ResponsaCon? Yep. Um, 
it's not just you go to an event, you sit, you listen, and it's the people you meet. And I, 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 I'm, I want to give a shout out to a lot of people, but I want to, I want to say thank you to Liam Odia. Liam, I told him I was on tonight. I'm, I'm not sure if he's on, but I told he, he helped me with my uh, response a bit videos. I've got two important videos on response a bit. The first one is Bonjour, je suis Mani. I, I introduce myself. This is how responsible works. You, you have a video and you introduce yourself. And the second video, uh, which I thought was important, is a, an email they get uh, to watch a YouTube video two days prior to my visit. And I tell them what they need to do before I get there. So I get there and their patio furniture, the barbie, everything's moved out of the way for me to do the hot house wash. So there's little things. There's a lot, not little, a lot of things that come into play when you go to these uh, events. So, so shout out to Liam. Liam, if you don't know who Liam is, I will have him on probably next week or two. Um, he's actually a copywriter. And I actually have a link on my website that if you want all the emails that you can send out for pressure washing and Christmas site, he actually has a pack for all of those stuff. And um, that is definitely something that if you're looking for that, if you go to kingofpressurewash.com slash resources, you'll scroll down. I think he's right under response a bid. Um, again, I will um, put a link there, but he gives you all the email responses of what you need to do and that um, for that. Um, so Nathan asked the question, what's your average ticket in Canada? I love responsibility. Uh, are you a responsibility user, Nathan? I don't know if Nathan is or not. Well, Nathan's um, a 21-year-old kid that's out of Georgetown or Cynthia, Kentucky. Well, look, let, let me say this. Today, we were grocery shopping. I get back in the car. I'm looking at my phone. I get back in the car, and I got an email saying, hey, you want a bid. Uh, it's a $1,500 <laughs> responsive bid. Awesome. Um Guys, average ticket uh, right now. Let me see. Where's September? Sorry, sorry about this. I'm not used to being put on the spot like that, Jason. <laughs> uh, guys, my closing rate right now in September is 27 percent. Average ticket 1900. That's uh, pretty. This is. I'm not kidding. This is what it says here. Right. And this is, doesn't include the commercial, right? Because I had we had a big commercial job the uh, last week or about 10 days ago. So the you know I don't have everything I have some of my commercial on on the market, uh, so yeah um, my average has been uh, here the past I don't know if you guys see it the past months this is this is the past month this is my average ticket my sorry my close rate average close rate thirty percent close rate thirty percent. So, so with that, let's, let's hit on some things that, um, we got, I only, I, Mr. Jordan, I can never say his name, Harley, Nobisa is from South Africa. It's like three o'clock in the morning there right now for him. Um, and so he's always joining in. He comes into Monday marketing, which is awesome too. So, um, always wanting to learn, always trying to keep learning and moving forward. Right. And so these are definitely some things that we have to look at. We've got a QO Hunter Sprinter he, or a Hunter. He was um, at our hey, class. Hunter. Um, hey, Manny, are you still solo? If so, how many jobs do you do per month? Uh, you know what, guys? Um, something changed when I went to. Um, um, where were we again? North Carolina. North Carolina. Um, I got involved with. With, with this th these people here, with Ryan Lee and Landscape Lighting, so I'm involved in that. I'm, I'm going to push my landscape, light, basically my lighting business. Uh, I brought my hunter, I brought my brother on board. He's, he's on his way. He's going to come say hi. So I brought him on board right now because um, I think uh, lighting is, I'm just, <sighs> cleaning is nice, pressure washing is nice, but I like the lighting business. Uh, I've been in it for, I've been in cleaning for such a long time and I'd rather push the lighting business stronger. Uh, and I'm on the ground. 
I don't have to get on the, well, yeah, you may have to go on the ladder once in a while, but you know, I don't have to go clean gutters. I know I'm not going to get a, sh a, sh a sky vac. I don't want to do gutters. Uh, I did gutters yesterday and I was cursing. So yeah, I got my brother on board, Hunter, and uh, he's going to be a, uh, he's going to be a partner in the business too, in the, in the lighting. So Manny, what, what are some things, um, I know we talk about marketing and, and what, and marketing and how marketing can help us. Right. And, um, what are some things that that you had to overcome for mindset wise? What, what oh, are some it's, it's, from fears that between the, years that you had to deal with? Yeah, the distance. Um, when when I started this business, I told my brother in law, you know what? Uh, if I make three hundred dollars a day, <laughs> I'm a king. I used to hear you uh, have people on say. $10,000 a month, $15,000 a month, $20,000 a month. And there was somewhere where it, it wouldn't go, it would just block. I could not uh, understand. How can someone make so much money in that? And this year I put Google ads and of course response a bit and all my other advertising and it just because you had a, what a twenty thousand or twenty five thousand dollar month at one point i because i didn't have time to get to that third i was going to hit 30 but i hit i just hit under 25. but uh, but but you know what did so when you worked for your dad you were you made like thirty forty thousand dollars a year if i remember so to hit thirty thousand dollars twenty five thousand dollars in a month did you ever think you would be able to do that? Or did you just think people that Jason talks about are crazy? I didn't think there was, they were lying. I just, I don't know. I had limitations. You know, Nathan put a hundred thousand is a lot of money until you realize it's no money. He's like, not that it's, I've hit it yet. I'm close. And, and, you know, it is true, right? You know, Nathan, like I say, Nathan, he's a 21, 22-year-old guy that is, he's another one, right? He's come to my training. He's done things to help him get, grow a business. Like I say, he grows his business. He's not in, he, he started out in Cynthia, but that's not his where his business is. He's got to drive an hour to get to where his business is. So if you don't have, go, go ahead. ahead. If you don't have advertising, you can do it. Yes, I'm, I'm in a very dense population uh and yes there is competition but let, let's talk about google when i started this business i sought out the people who had high google reviews there was a guy here like literally uh five minutes so his gmb location is five minutes away uh by car and he was at 20 21 reviews i was at And I said, wow, what a sight, pictures. I was so impressed. Um, then I contacted this guy. I said, hey, um, hi, I'm Manny. I'm new to this. And um, we started talking. And uh, one time I sent him a picture. I had a roof quote to do. I've never done a roof in my life. This is a million, probably a $2 million home. A pocket change for you guys. Uh, and... I call him, I say, hey, I've got this house I bid. He says, you're getting that job. She says, you underbid by a lot. You're getting the job. I know you're getting, I got the job. He knew about it. Um, yet I tried, I gave him a restaurant cleaning to do uh, an exterior restaurant. Uh, he did the job. I never got a thank you. I tried, I tried talking with him and I never, uh, it just didn't work out. Um, Right now, I'm sitting at 59 Google reviews. He's he's at 22. Still. Now, there's another guy in South Shore of Montreal. Hey, Liam. <laughs> Good to see you, too. So I contact another guy. He's a window washer. He had like 200 plus Google reviews. I said, this guy's got to be good. He's a window washer. I say, hi, Hugo. My name is Manny. Uh, I see you have got a lot of Google reviews. I'm in the north of Montreal. Um, we're far away. He's south. I'm north. 
Uh, he's mostly into window washing. And uh, we started talking. I said, I went to the huge convention. Uh, he says, hey, he says, uh, you know Brandon Vaughn? I said, yeah, I know Brandon Vaughn. He's my coach. I said, you're in Conquer? He says, yep, I'm in Conquer. And we have a relationship like this with this guy. He's given me uh, roof jobs, he, one roof job in my area. Uh, he's given me a job that he couldn't do. We help each other because we're part of this community. This, you know which community I'm talking about. So uh, for those who are arrogant or they think they're better than anybody else, um, I don't know, they don't, you don't succeed if you don't have, uh, if so you're not I'm, I'm gonna hit a couple things here because right now I, we got a little, I, somebody else had to ask this question. Here in Alabama, just getting started, it seems like I'm going, I'm having to lowball to get jobs. Right. And Jason put um, I, I, like a thousand dollar goal day following the process. It becomes a slow day, then a ten thousand dollar month then following the process becomes a slow month and so on. And so a lot of people believe that you have to lowball to get the job. And, and this is not true. You know, if 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 Manny lowballed his 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 average ticket would be way down and his close rate would be way up and he still wouldn't be making no money at that point. Um, and that's what the, that's why, you know, it is all about marketing. It is about, you know, he showed that his close rate is 25 to 30%, right? And so, you know, these are things that we have to overcome. Now, what that means is, is you get a lot of no's. And if you, you know, and, and two or three no's sounds like a lot, but if you got to look at that, you got to get um, 10, you got to get seven no's before you can get three yeses at 30%. Or you might go... 14, 15 those and get five jobs, right? And so we have to think about this of how do we grow a business? We don't grow a business by going cheap and thinking that that's what's going to get us a business. Because when you go cheap, I can show you what happens. Jason sends me pictures all the time of people selling their equipment in Florida. And they'll start out at 20,000. He sent me one. It started out at like 15,000. The equipment came down to 12, then 15 or 10, and then eight, and then seven, and then $5,000 over for the exact same piece of equipment. They've lowered it down because they can't sell even the equipment because People go and buy all this amazing equipment and think that equipment is what's going to get their business going, and they spend this much in marketing. And that's why I tell people, when you spend fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in on a piece of equipment, you better spend fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in marketing, or I don't even want to hear anything because at that point you're not going to make money by doing your your buying equipment. Equipment does not get you work. You got a very nice rig. How many jobs by having that nice rig have you gotten because you have a nice rig, Manny? <laughs> um, you know, maybe a couple because they saw that, you know, I was working at the, at, at the job, you know, and they passed by. But when uh, it's not working, it's in the garage. It, it ain't getting any visibility, zero. You know, zero. And then you, you ask, what kind of clients should I look for? The ones that are not like you probably, right? You got to go find people that, you know, I know Manny's been doing a lot with Ryan Lee and what does Ryan Lee teach a lot? You know, go see where people go to eat at like that you wouldn't probably go to. Go shop at places and see how they're treated where you probably would never shop at because they treat people different, right? You know, my wife, we spend a lot of money on points. We get a lot of points so we get the hotel upgrades. And so she went to a Marriott and, you know, they they sat there and they handed her everything because we, done, we did it all on points. But you know what? That's what happens, you know, when you get to a per certain place in your life and you start, when we, when we got to remember that we're not our customer. And so when we're not our customer, then that's who we got to look at is who are our customers. Our customers are not poor people that live in $100,000 houses, probably not who I want to look for. I want to look for, and, and here's the thing about Cincinnati and the greater Cincinnati area, we're in one of the poorer parts of the country. I'm not in, you know, where the houses in Raleigh, North Carolina started a half a million dollars, 
Uh, we start in about 200000 is starting to be in the nicer neighborhoods, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000 and up from there. And so those are the people that have money. Those are the people. Because if you go do a $1,000 house wash for a $100,000 home, that that person can barely afford that, that's a lot of money to them. But you go to a house that, you know, that's a hundred, that's a half a million dollar house and it's a thousand dollars. And, you know, that's not so big and such a burden on that person, right? Because they both making a hundred grand a piece. So they're making 200 grand a year, thousand dollars, nothing. But if you go to a purple that only making, you know, if they're both making 40, $50,000 a year, a thousand bucks is a lot of money to people only making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year on a combined income. That is a lot of money, right? But if it's to one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars, then a thousand bucks ain't a lot of money to people. And so it's how, where do we find these people at, and where do we do it? And what you'll find out is, is nine times out of ten, the cheap customer is the one that will be the biggest pain in your butt. They will be calling you back. They will. They're not happy. They they drive you crazy. And you're laughing because you know. It. Let me hear your story about that customer that has been that cheap customer for you. <coughs> so, <laughs> I, okay. So I, I I didn't do the job. So I I had a woman call me last year. Um, uh, I, I used to visit more last year. I don't visit. I barely visit now. It's all on Google Earth. Uh, because of response a bit and everything. But um, I get to the house. She's not there. She, uh, I went to look at it. She says, okay, there's the front. Uh, I need you to do the, uh, uh, the the house wash. I need you to go to the back, uh, pick up all the garbage that's uh, on the deck in garbage bags. Like Literally, there was garbage bags there, with garbage everywhere. Pick it up, do the, the, the deck, do the pavers in the back in the house. I'm like, okay, great. Uh, so I give her the price, and she says, so... That includes uh, the pavers in my driveway, too. I say, Madam, with for that I'm even going to wash your neighbor's house for the same price. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm I'm 48. Uh, I want to work less and make more. Right. That's exactly what we want. We want to work less and make more. You know, that is for sure one thing. Another thing I want to say, Christmas Light customer called, said they couldn't get in touch with the people who did it last year. That means they went out of business and they did it for $600. I told them that you you won't reach them because they went out of business, right? And, and it's so true with pressure washing, with Christmas lights, it's with anything. Um, you know, it is one of those things that, um, do your research, household income to figure out the best part for yard sign. This is perfect. Go to your UP, go to UP, um, United States Postal Service and look up for um, EDDM. And when you look up for EDDM, it will give you a chart of where people, of what their income, average income is for that zip code or for that mailing zone. Go find the top five or six spots that are in that higher bracket and go put your signs in those areas because there's no use putting your signs on the, in the trailer park area because that's not where we want to be at, right? We want to be in the high-end homes. That's where we want to be at. And sometimes that's not always true for the wash business. You know, sometimes our happy place was between two hundred and fifty and 750000 because you can get above a million, and now we get back to the picky people that want to, um, that are so tight that they pinch pennies because they're that's how they got to their million dollar houses, and so then they want to sit there and nickel dime you, and they're not keeping up with the Joneses. So there is a happy medium of two hundred fifty to seven hundred thousand dollars where we kind of want those customers at. You know what? What what I found uh, uh, with the uh, higher end homes, at least where I am. Most of them are brick and stone homes, so all you have all you have is basically soffits and gutters uh, and some peaks. There's not a lot of vinyl. Uh, I mean, we have vinyl tons. There's so much work. I mean, you uh, you guys you saw that? Did you guys see that vi that that, uh, that roof that that video I did last week? That uh, his neighbor is Mario Lemieux, the hockey player. I mean. Huge, 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 like 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 uh, Trump would say, huge. 
uh, huge home, cedar uh, shingles. I'm probably not going to do it because he does not want SH on his roof, but he wants the moss off the uh, the um, cedar shingles. But there's wood all around. I will I will have a, 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 an insurance claim if I do that house. So I'm probably just going to walk away. We can't be heroes. Was that the gutter cleaning or the one with the gutters, copper gutters? Copper gutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Big Rob asked about that. Manny, how did you make out with the property that had copper gutters? <laughs> well, look, I, I spoke with uh, Everett Abrams from uh, Deck Restoration Plus, and he says, look, he says, you can mitigate, you can try to tape the, uh, he says, you're going to get SH on it. Mm -hmm. So he says, either he lives with it or you just don't do it. Right. Uh, yep. No, I'm just. I don't need I don't need headaches. So this is a good question because somebody asked the question earlier that you can't can you really can't make a hundred thousand in um, West Constance, which you're higher further up than that. And um, and Nathan put, does it get really green up there, like in the south? Green. What kind of green? The how mold green or yeah, or? mold green, mold green. <laughs> um. We get mostly um, black. The algae we have is black algae on the homes M most of the time. Like the, if you look at the gutters, they're all black. They don't turn green. I'm not sure if it's different because we're north. But uh, you hit it. And you know what? I uh, I I tend to go 3% uh, to, to get them off because I go lower and it just doesn't, doesn't always do Nice. So, so, so one thing that I always poke at Manny, he, he's going to be a little bit shy of his agreement that he was supposed to do that he had made with Jeremy and a couple other ones. He, they got him drunk and they, no, made, no. I wasn't drunk. I was sober. That's, oh, that's, well, that's the worst makes, part about it. That, that makes it even worse. So he was sober and um, he, they made him write down on a cheap a paper of how much was you supposed to do this year? Three hundred thousand um, dollars. So he's he's a little short right now. So he's going to have to really hammer down on Christmas lights to be able to get to that three hundred thousand. Uh, otherwise, he's got. What do you got to do if you don't hit your three hundred thousand? I can't talk about it here. <laughs> it's between Ryan Lee and Jeremy Maine and myself. <laughs> and Jeremy Maine was on here. I don't know if he's still on here, but. Uh, maybe he can put what you have to do. And, and, and so these are some things that, you know, I'm one of those things, but one of the things that I wanted to hit on before, before and you all, I see we got some questions down here. Um, down in Florida, everything turns moldy after rain season. <laughs> Jason put, you can definitely, um, you can, can we define where the South is? <laughs> um, <laughs> But one thing that I like about Manny is, is Manny has paid for education. Manny has come to my class. He came to the advanced Christmas site class. He has went to the huge convention. Um, he went to ResponsaCon, and he has invested in himself. And, and this is one of those things that if you wouldn't have invested in yourself, do you think you would be at where you're at right now? Uh, no. Uh, and the reason... The reason I say, you know what? It, yeah, it's nice. I went to all these events, but um, like I've heard other people say, and I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say what I've heard from others. You go to this event, you take a few nuggets. You go to the other event, you take a few nuggets. Not only nuggets, but you meet people. At ResponsaCon, I met um, a Scott. I'll say his name, Scott Schroeder. He's in Massachusetts. Uh, Hunter, damn, I don't know where Hunter's from. Um, he's from Virginia, Virginia, Virginia. Um, Fred Hodges, he was on the response, uh, response bid, uh, live on Friday. Um, it's Kyle and his father, Kyle Kramer. We're all on a group chat together. If I ever have a question, I send a message to people who've been in the business longer than me. Um, they reply a good bunch of people. So it's not just uh, getting the education, it's collaborating, meeting, uh, getting together with people who uh, 
are truly there um, and they're willing to help you. Captain Matt, you guys heard of Captain Matt? He's in, he's in lighting, eh? Uh, Christmas lights. I met him at uh, Utah, the um, landscape lighting mastermind. Super nice guy. Um, I met a bunch of guys down there. It's just, just phenomenal how uh, um, people can impact your lives. That's my brother. And, and, uh, and one, one of those things, too, I want to hit on, too, is, is kind of like what you said. You know, you might go to the whole class, and but that, you might learn one nugget from sitting down with these guys and talking with these guys and, and doing that from the, more than the whole class sometimes. And, and that's, you know, the networking part of it is huge, right? And so network. where you network, you know, they always say your net worth is your net work, right? If, if you have a small network, you probably have a small net worth. Um, but if you have a large net, net worth, you probably have a large net worth. And so it is important yeah. that we are doing these things and making it happen and keep growing our business. And, you know, was it easy for you to come into the States all the time and, and come across to get, um, I remember one time you have to, you have to like drive to New York or whatever, right? Okay. COVID. Let's talk COVID. Uh, January, uh, January 2021, when I went to Alabama to do my training at uh, Southeast Softwash, uh, I had a window of three days. I had to get tested. I had a, th a three-day window to get tested and, and get be negative to be able to get back home. So I tested Saturday. Uh, I get to the airport. No, I think I tested Thursday. I get to the airport on Saturday, uh, Sunday. I, my window's good. Snowstorm in Chicago. Chicago's got a snowstorm, right? So everything's shut down. So I miss my flight. I cannot get on my Air Canada flight back home. $356 for a COVID test in Atlanta. Sucks, right? My brother, <laughs> he had another issue. Uh, so yeah, it's it, it, it was very... Guys, forget COVID. Uh, it's not always easy for us to get stock up here. Uh, I couldn't get my cougar paws. Luckily, my sister brought them from New Jersey, but they were they were delayed. She can't come when I need her. Um, there's companies that will not deliver to Canada. Right. But so, you can make those excuses, right? Or you can make it happen. Uh, yeah, we have to. We have to We have to do what we got to do. You know what I want to talk about? One thing I forgot to talk about. Uh, you didn't talk about accountability. Because you, you do this accountability thing, right? So... Um, I was asked the other day, I'm a part of a Ryan Lee's coaching group. We have coaches, we have Zoom calls twice a month. And we're on a Zoom call with Dan Plata. He's our, he's, he's the business coach on our group. And he's like, so Manny, did you do this, 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 this? I'm like, oh, Danny, I was, on, I was on vacation, you know? So you didn't do this, you didn't do that. No, I said, but I'm going to do it. So he, he keeps notes, right? You know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, accountability next month, you got to do this. So I, I felt bad because I was just not doing things. And he says, what about those videos? Videos, wait a minute. He says, uh, those videos, all the videos are done. So for landscape lighting, we got basically before we meet the customer, they're going to get three emails with three videos. Who are we are? Uh, prices and installation. So before that we meet, we know what's going. They know exactly what's going on. So I tell them, yeah, I did all those videos. So see, you did. You didn't fail. You did something. So accountability, I think, is very important. Having a business coach is a uh, uh, is a good way to keep uh, keep going. I know Jeremy talked to me today, and he had some. He has something to go do. To uh, you know, Jason, right? You speak with him. Um, oh, uh, hold on a second. I'm just going to plug my computer. Uh, this is my brother. This is the, the guy I was talking to you guys about. Hey, Hello, guys. brother. What's going on? Billy. Billy, so, Billy, Billy. So, Hunter, he's the guy who's going to be joining me in the business um, for the lighting and the pressure washing. I'm, I'm teaching him how to wash. Uh, I, I was in Greece one time. This is the thing. They talk about being afraid to let, to, to get off the truck. I was in Greece. I had no choice but to be off the truck. So I, he takes the rig. He has to go to a house. He calls me up says, hey, he says, the machine is running, but there's no water. <laughs> I don't know. Check. Make sure the tank. I got a 100-gallon 100, 100 buffer tank. 
He says, yeah, the tank's full. I said, okay, yeah. I said, check the belt. He checks his, yeah. Belt snapped. Belt snapped. <laughs> he had to drive. Well, I had to drive uh, about an hour away to get another belt and drive back uh, two hours in traffic to go finish a one-hour job because we didn't have a backup belt. And that was my fault because Mar fault. March, when I started the machine, it smoked a little bit and it made some noise and I didn't take care of it. Yeah, so ma maintenance is important. Yeah, maintenance. Take care of your equipment. Have backups. Southern Ontario Power Washington. I'm in Canada. Hard to find some stuff as well. Just starting up. Hey, Southern Ontario. Cheers. So I had a question and it just it just like jumped right out of my mind. Um, what was I going to ask you? There was something I was going to ask you. Um, so let's. I liked it where you were talking about the accountability stuff, right? Of being held accountable, right? Um, it is important. A lot of times we don't always do that stuff, and a lot of times we're like, "Well, we don't want to be held accountable." Um, what what what's your thoughts on that mania? Is it help? oh no I'm 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 gonna scratch that I'm gonna actually go back to something else. Um, so I had talked to uh, when our marketing Mondays I had hit on doing videos and doing more videos, doing social media and stuff like that. And I know Manny um, he actually did what I had talked about and started taking action. And he is starting to do videos. He's starting to do lives, like I've said, do lives and. So from that, you've been doing these lives since I started talking about it. Tell, let's talk about the, the process that you've come from doing the lives. Because, you know, as an old guy like you are, um, you know, you could come up with excuses. I don't know how to use equipment. I don't know how to do this stuff. But how has that helped you grow your business? And how has that helped you get customers? And, and, and has it gotten easier as we're doing it? Okay, look, uh, I want to say this. Uh, so I, have, I do my lives, but I also do YouTube videos. So um, I've noticed on my YouTube, my audiences are starting to increase in house washing, roof washing. People watch. And I'm sure eventually Google's, Google's algorithm, hopefully it's not like Google, uh, Google GM, I mean, like the reviews. Hopefully the algorithm is going to help. And guys, uh, um <laughs> Facebook lives uh, thanks to you and Ryan in uh, in March when we were in uh, um, rally uh, Ryan gave me a lift to the shop we were at the same hotel and he says you know man he says I was on Facebook one time putzing around with it and all of a sudden I see an audience I didn't realize I was doing a live and I was shaking and this is Ryan Lee shaking right and you see this guy doing these YouTube videos once a week and he's like blah, blah, blah. so uh, it people will appreciate um, natural once you do it a few times you become natural I do videos now and I just walk the property you saw the, the videos I do right I walk the property and I'm just nonchalant at about you know I'll I'll do a I'll I'll take a YouTube video listen to this I'll do a YouTube video when I go to somebody's, if I have to go to somebody's house and they're not there, I'll do a YouTube video, talk to them about what the problems are and send it to them, unlisted. Uh, I met a guy in respo at ResponseCon. You see, we're back at ResponseCon, back to the events. Um, he's from uh, De Deloitte up there. In, uh, um, he even spoke at, um, at ResponseCon. Uh, Eddie Carell, Multiman Services. Mm -hmm. this guy does youtube videos he says hi sir uh, we're at your house right now and he will post these publicly you can go to multi-man services and he posts videos publicly talking to the customer and he's doing a hundred, like a half a million dollars a year by himself this guy is a superstar i had coffee with him at responsacon you see i sat down we had which which i had coffee with him he was waiting for his uber and we had coffee and he says man he says You've read too much. Stop reading. Stop listening. Act. Just act. Take Videos. action. Videos are so important. Grant Cardone, 10x, 10, 10x. What is it? 10x. I, I, look, uh, I'm 48 and I'm excited about what's going to happen in my future. Um, 
he, he doesn't know what's going to happen. I mean, he was at the mastermind with Ryan Lee in Utah, and he saw things uh, that I'm sure blew his mind. Um, guys, even if you're young, if I can do it. All right, so there's two good questions here. Yeah. For the new guy, for the new business, what would be the best thing for me to do to get business and to get the word out? Jason's going to answer. Not what well, you're waiting for me to answer. I'm waiting for you. To, I want to hear what your answer is, <laughs> guys. I, I don't know if he was listening before, but I, like I said, when I started, I did my 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 that booklet there went out. It was two hundred forty thousand copies. It cost me two thousand dollars March of twenty twenty one. Do you think the phone's going to ring? It's going to ring. Yes. Uh, yard signs. Uh, five arounds door. I was walking. I was doing two two hundred yard signs a day. I remember going. No, not sorry, not yard signs. Um, door hangers. Door hanger. I did door hangers. I hate door hangers. I did them. Here's a but, here's uh, another one that I want to hear what your response to this one. This one's a pretty easy response. I know it's the wrong mindset, but I'm a little afraid of marketing success and not being able to handle the workflow. I'm you know a what? One man show. Okay, How do you let, guys it, handle what, this? What, what's your What's his name? Put your name down. Get Action his name. Power Wash. But that's not his name. I want his name. Okay. Ugh. So listen, to the, the the guy who did my door hangers. He's a Greek guy. I know him. I'm Greek, by the way. Greek. Um, I'm Canadian, but I'm Greek. My parents are Greek. Um, the guy who did my six thousand door hangers. He says, "What's going to happen if you get too busy?" Uh, action power better be busy and not able to catch up than be sitting at home polishing your equipment. <laughs> well, and, and this goes back to, I was hoping you would hit what I wanted you to hit. You, you just missed the mark on it. Hashtag raise your prices, right? When we get enough work, we can do it. We can raise our prices and that's the whole goal, right? If, if we're starting to get so much work that we need, to, we're so worried about that we're growing, then we can raise our prices. And when you raise your prices, then we can have an average ticket of $1,900 with a close uh, rate of only 30%. Okay, in March, I raised my prices 40%. 40% in Canadian. That's like that's like $1,000 in U.S. <laughs> um, wow, price. never thought about reading too much. And this is the thing, right? We can read too much. And not take action, you know. No, he said, he, he, hearing, reading too much. No, you know what happens. Let me talk about the reading. Is is you get so much in there that para, is it paralysis analysis? Yeah, you get something. too much in there. I don't know. And you don't take no action. And that's one of those things that if I read a book, I try to take at least one or two things out of that book and put into action that way you because otherwise we don't take no action and then it doesn't help us out at all manny what is, we're getting ready we're about we you said you was worried that we was gonna be able to not go for an hour <laughs> we're at an hour already almost um what what has been your favorite book or a book that has like impact you to just kind of do that next step. Oh my God! I have to go through. Where's my list? Uh, I know 10x with Grant Cardone was a big thing for me. Um, I, I'm going to my Audible right now. Um, you you ask they uh, they ask you answer. I wish I was a blogger. I wish I were able to uh, write blogs because um, I lack in that. I don't have blogs. Um, so the that's one of those books talking about the blogs and the gmb uh guys very important your gmb i don't know what the heck's going on with google nowadays but I, i'm in the same boat like everybody else yeah i did look i did look i did a review look it's there uh, i say no it's not <laughs> no it's not uh, gap in the gain that's another book i started uh, uh wow that's a big that's where i'm stuck right now gap in the gain and that's a good book, um, especially because a lot of times we forget where we come from, right? We, we look at, man, I didn't hit my $300,000 that he's supposed to hit. Um, but he's come so much further 
then and, you know he's going to hit you know other m big milestones and that's the big thing that we don't always look where we come from we're always looking where we're going at and we never look in at our successes and our wins i have a question who who's who's re who's doing this like religiously profit first who's doing this right there profit first this is another thing i started in january I have my accounts. Yeah, it's costing me $6 a month per account. It's costing. I do not straight. I'm like this. I got money for my taxes. I got money for in my profit account. I got money in my in my my compensation account. I I'm working this system and I love it because I know where I'm going. Who else is doing that? And what are your thoughts? So so how much do you have to put in your tax account for being in Canada? More than 15%? You know what? Um, I, I, I'm doing a 10% right now and we'll see what happens. But you know what? I've gathered a whole chunk and I'm not worried when the tax man comes. I'll say, here, take your money. That's I got right. it for you. Take it. Exactly. So yeah, profit first is very good. Awesome, Manny. Well, what would you give a new? What would you give advice for a new guy trying to start out, um, starting a pressure washing business? Exactly what you say all the time: marketing. Marketing is definitely the most important thing you can do. Marketing. There's another pressure washer here that I met. Actually, I was I was taking down Christmas lights, and I see him with his trailer and he's got a hot water system. So I went to see him and say, hey, what's going on? He says, yeah, I, I sold the business and I'm starting this for my son and uh, we're gonna start slow. I'm like, okay. If you wanna start fast, you wanna move, you gotta put money in marketing. Wait, look. Christmas lights, where are my Christmas lights? I threw that out. So yeah, I'm putting up, uh, I'm doing a lot of Chris, I'm, I'm bumping up my Google ads for Christmas lights. I'm putting out some more uh, yard signs. Uh, if I did 17K in Christmas lights last year, how much should I do this year? No, how much will I do this year, Jason? Well, you got to do about 200,000 to get to your 300,000. So. <laughs> no, Looks I'm, like uh, your brother better get his butt working and hanging some lights. Uh, he's he's going to learn. He's going to learn. Maybe I should send them to your training. Whatever you got to do. Um, Manny, you are the man just had to say it. Um, so I, I put a link down to your your YouTube channel down underneath there. What uh, is there any way else that if anybody wants to follow you, uh, where they can find you at? You, hold on. Uh, this is a brand new channel. Montreal. It's called it's Montreal Exterior Lighting. You guys want to talk about French? Uh, we have a uh, we have oh my god, Bill ninety six. It's this bill that just came out that the, they want to protect the, the the French language. So the Bill one hundred one came out in the set in, in the seventies uh, because they needed to protect the, the the French language. And this Bill ninety six right now is requiring companies that have uh, over five employees. Um, Everything has to be in French, emails, literature, training modules, uh, warranties on document. On, on example, this thing here has to have a warranty pack uh, in it. In that paper, the French has to be predominant. Uh, just, guys, you, you guys don't know how difficult it is for us to deal with the language. You guys have templates all in English. You guys have to just change. You got to put your name. You guys have no translation to do. So what, if you need, what, if, if, so, so what Manny says is quit making excuses and just do it. No, I, can I say what, what Bobby Walker says all the time or no? I don't care what you say. Actually, I do. So, no, you can't. Okay, I can't say, so don't be a you-know-what. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, that is definitely a true. So, don't 
don't be the person that makes excuses, um, you know, because of fear, makes excuses because of whatever your excuses might be. And so with that, if you want to go check out King of Pressure Wash, we do, every Monday night, you can come on a, on a Zoom call with us. Manny's on most of the Zoom calls um, with us on Monday Night Marketing because it's all about marketing and he's still learning, he's still growing. Um, if you also want to go check out our in-person classes, we will have a class at the end of October. Um, don't be a sucky person is what Gene put. <laughs> um, um, but we will have a Christmas light and a pressure washing class. This is an in-person hands-on class. This isn't you watch and Jason's talks. This is a you get to use the pressure washer. You get to hang the Christmas lights. Um, we show the different lights, we show the different pressure washing methods, and we have two or three different rigs, so you get to pressure wash different ways. Um, but the most important part is that the Zoom, or the uh, the marketing day, right? Sunday, or Saturday is the marketing day, and that is the day that you will be mind blown at the end of it. Um, we will have a, we had a special guest come this last class, which was um, Liam, and he gave an hour presentation talking about copywriting, follow-ups, that kind of stuff. Um, we will have another hour presentation talking with Chris Johnson, and he's going to be talking about how to sell and sell better and better ways to sell. Um, he's going to hit a $750,000 with his business, and so he's going to give some information. He's actually going to be taking the class, so he'll be a person that you'll be able to talk to and hang out with um, while we're there because um, he's going to be taking the Christmas light class. So definitely make sure that you are um, check it out. Um, you can The Zoom calls are for anybody that is in the membership. I haven't gave this one out in a while. But if you want to, you can go, oh, shoot, I just, you're still there. I'll come back to you. Pressurewashhelp.com slash free. You can get 30 days free. Um, and that way you can start learning more about pressure washing. Um, with that, Manny, is there any last words before we jump off here? Uh, I just want to do a quick shout out to my buddy, uh, Hugo Delip from uh, Lavage de Vit Ultranet. He's a French guy, but you know what? He's a good guy. Uh, no, guys. Um, if I can do it, uh, if you follow, look, I jumped into this like a like a dummy, uh, like a like a lamb, like a sheep. Bah, where are we going? Literally, uh, do this and you'll get that. Do this, you'll get that. I did what I was told. It's not snake oil, or maybe it is snake oil. A little. It's up to you. It's up to you to find out. Well, it's take up to you plunge. to take action, right? Take the plunge. Awesome, guys. Well, hang on, and we're going to finish up here. Thank you for having me, Jason.